Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Gaipo Jarni, or Gaipo, and I was going to talk to you about rules-driven delivery, uh, which is and about the act, my property manager and how awesome it is. Uh, the slides are going to be there. However, um, I've also written a book uh, just now that has been mentioned a couple of times about responsive web design and making it fast. And uh, some peers over conversations, and probably a few too many beers, have convinced me to uh, change the plan and instead of talking about rules delivery, uh, I will do a book reading of my new book. Just need to get into the mode here. A tale of mobile waiting. It was a beautiful morning. The sun was shining, there was a nice breeze, and we were getting to go on an adventure. We've just moved to a new city, and today we were going to an entirely new park. Plus, I'll get to use this new backpack my dad got me at Etsy, just because he likes how fast they are. It's, it's a little bit unusual with you know, the fire-breathing unicorn and all that, but I've seen weirder things before. We headed out the door, and we walked towards the main street. Do you know where you're going? My mom asked my dad. Don't need to. I have maps, he said, as he took out his phone and held it up. We walked a little bit more, and then stopped at an intersection for my dad to check where we are. He took his phone, touched a few keys, and then we waited. I was excited. I really wanted to see this new park. I kept wanting to, to keep going. But my mom said, hold on, wait until we know where we're going. I don't like waiting. I think it's cool that my dad has a map in his phone, just like, like Dora has the map on TV. But Dora's map tells you where to go right away instead of making you wait like this. Um, granted, Dora's map is also flexible, so it can be rolled up, it talks, it doesn't run out of battery. Uh, when I grow up, I'm going to have a map like Dora's. <laughs> After what seemed like an eternity, my dad finally said, Got it, we're going this way. Looking back and forth between his phone and the streets, and eventually pointing in one direction. Hooray, the wait was done. We set out again, proceeding on our adventure. Still, every little while we had to stop again and wait while my dad checked his maps again. In, one of those, in some of these stops, my dad would strike funny poses and you know, holding his phone up in the air, trying to squeeze it between two fingers, trying to get better reception, all the while mumbling something about how those Googlers really should have come to Velocity instead of to Google I.O. <laughs> in those times, the wait was worse. Even though I wanted to get to the park, I was starting to get tired and hungry. I told my mom, and she had a brilliant idea. We can stop for ice cream. My dad was all for it, too, since it meant he can use this new reviews website you like. Apparently, they're now responsive, and so would work well on his phablet, even over cellular. Sometimes, I think parent adults just make up words to confuse me. My dad was probing through his phone again and on his, on his new mission to find, of finding a nearby ice cream place. This was fun. I like parks, but nothing is better than ice cream. And so we waited this time for my dad to find a place. And we waited and we waited. It's loading, he said. And then it got deflated again. No, it's still stuck after the ads. My dad was getting frustrated. He kept talking to himself about how these guys should have purchased Akamai and actually you know, care about their users. Uh, my, my mom suggested that he try it on her new superphone. This is actually her second superphone. She got it right after I confirmed her first superphone, although it was super, couldn't actually fly. Uh, I'm, I'm not allowed to test that on her new phone, uh, but I, I assume they fixed that problem. Eventually, against all odds, we managed to find an ice cream place nearby. We quickly got there and sat down to have an ice cream. We had to wait in line a bit, but we weren't going anywhere. Once you get into an ice cream shop, you are not leaving without an ice cream. 
you're not leaving with an ice cream. When we were done, we all agreed we should take a taxi to the park. Walking was just taking too long. My dad pulled out his phone to order a cab, and we waited. <laughs> so if you want to read, uh, hear more of that, you should probably find a, a proper novelist and actually buy a book. Uh, this book doesn't actually contain these paragraphs. <laughs> But if you want to know about uh, responsive websites and making them fast and saving kids around the world the tragedy of waiting, uh, you should stop by the Akamai booth at 3 today to get a free copy of this book. Thank you very much.